If you'd like to just turn on the ambient audio and turn off the commentary, click the gear on your screen and go to audio and select English United States. That's going to be useful a couple times in this video, so maybe I uh, wanted to get that out of the way first. So let's go ahead with our Starbase summary for early September here. Saw some testing, maybe, happen over at Massey's. So much venting, there wasn't any specific signs that we could say, oh, a spin prime or anything like that. We didn't see a static fire, but uh, we'll continue to watch what's going on over there at Massey's. It has been raining at Starbase. You see the Rocket Garden in the background, but in the foreground, it's actually sort of an emergency pump. You see these all over Starbase, potentially due to some inadequate drainage that needs to be uh, improved. You'll see them trying to pump out ditches and stuff like that with those big pumps. Rain didn't slow down Star Factory, though. One good thing of having the huge construction building there, I guess the factory building, is you can work inside when the tropical storm comes through. Should be passing by now, but got an awful lot of precipitation out there at Starbase. Just dreary weather. Big thanks to Jack and Mary for being out there in the weather and getting these shots for us. Not as many cars, not as many much work going on around Starbase with the weather. Very muddy. Dan's out there doing some work, and it is mud, mud, muddy. So it makes it really difficult to get anything done. But in the Star Factory, they keep working on the nose cones. So uh, unfortunately, our camera sites don't have a Star Factory. We don't have like a cam factory or anything like that. We have to work out in the weather instead of in the nice building, air-conditioned building, actually. Jeez. But continuing on, it's all sort of one large structure now, the office building connection, connecting the Star Factory over to the office building. It's just one monolithic building now. Heading over to the launch site. You can just see the SP in SpaceX there and the sign in the middle. But just not a lot going on. Got some coyotes in frame. Look at the bottom right just behind the watermark. Look, we'll zoom in. <laughs> there you go. It's a little disconcerting to be out there by yourself working in the middle of the beach in the middle of the night and hear the coyote noises. <laughs> but it happens. They're pretty scrawny. They're more scared of you than you are of them. Hopefully. So we've got a treat coming up next, and this is where that ambient audio might be useful for you. Feel free to rewind and go back and forwards, but right around here, if you listen in, you can hear the twang of the cables. I talked about it in previous videos, and Jack actually made a special effort to go out there and record clean audio of the cables. So, yes, I'm talking about it now, but remember, you can click the gear and switch to ambient only. You could record, you can watch this section again. Just listen in to the twang of the chopsticks, or the chopstick cables. It's literally those massive cables slapping together in the wind. And we'll have another clip of the cables actually. You can see them slapping together here later in the video. But big thanks to Jack for going out and specifically capturing that. Now again, rewind, turn on the ambient with the gear. Just choose the other uh, audio track there so you can listen to the chopsticks. And come back over here and I'll keep talking to you. Beach Road is completely closed by order of Cameron County Judge. He won't even let you drive out there right now. Tons of erosion when we get a big storm like this come through. Look all the way up in Brownsville. This isn't even out of Starbase. This is sort of in the city. What is that? Oh, Home Depot's behind there because there's the Chick-fil-A. <laughs> My day when I go out there is like, okay, we need to go to Home Depot. Okay, we can stop in. I mean, there's a Chick-fil-A. What's the other one? There's a Cane's. There's like a couple fast food options right there. So, a lot of water all over the place with that tropical storm going through. Gratuitous storm footage. Now up here, this water is mostly going to be dirty, but fresh water. It's literal rainwater when it comes out of the sky, but when it gets mixed in to the road, that the cars have driven on and all the trash and stuff like that. It's no longer clean rainwater, right? So you gotta you gotta be careful of that. You don't want to be wading around in it. But over here, you get more salt water. This is actually it's not even a causeway. This is the road, Highway Four, going from call it the mainland out to Starbase, which isn't technically a barrier island, but it's it's close. 
So you're driving through here and you're getting a bunch of this salt up through your vehicle undercarriage, which is not ideal. Notice it's completely over the one lane there. They have the sides of the boundaries of the road marked with the uh, cones and barrels. Not great to drive a vehicle through this over on this side because you get that higher salt content in. I will say I'm really surprised that when they rebuilt the road, they didn't raise the grade of the road and make it more of a causeway. It would have made it would have taken more time to do that. Um, it certainly certainly would have been more of an impact. But every time we get a storm coming through, the bay floods over the road there. <sighs> And that's going to tear the road up again, and you're going to be right back in there trying to fix the road because the road surface does not like cars driving on it when it's saturated, soaked like that. Anyways, this is over at the uh, launch site. I really want, I mean, hopefully they're going to come through there and paint those Frankenstitch, Frankenstick reinforcements that they put it on because two days out there and they're rusting like crazy. It's been more than two days. But around here, again, if you switch to ambient, you can hear the twang of the chopsticks. There you go. The cables are literally making contact with each other. This is another interesting thing. You see there's so many cables. It's not just one cable. There's a whole block and tackle, pulley, snatch block sort of thing going on. We'll talk about that in just a second. I think the best way to say it is the gulf is angry right now. If you look out there, those waves, it's not a nice day at the beach. So this is Jack driving from the launch site back past the production site. This is clearly time-lapsed. I know we don't have it on the screen, but we, we did. That sped up a little bit, all right? Sheriff's right there. He's not speeding. They had it down to one lane, controlling traffic, driving across the uh, water there. This sort of turn around, don't drown. Your car is not a boat. Oh, so from previous videos, Y'all told me. I was like, what is that thing? It looks like a spiky pizza wheel. Uh, apparently also called a sheep foot compactor. Used to compact some of the uh, soil or underlayment that they're going to be building on there. And it's got the little spiky bit, so it applies more pressure to specific areas and can actually penetrate through the soil a bit. I learned that in a video because y'all answered it in the comments. And same thing here. This is actually from 2001 when they were putting the cables, reaving the cables through the uh, pulley block here on the first tower. And so if you've seen Destin, Smarter Every Day's videos about snatch box, pulley box, mechanical force multipliers, I did, we should link that because it's really interesting and the chopsticks actually uses it. And of course the fan in the background. This is sort of a recap from previous videos. The name of the fan, probably 50% of the comments when I asked. I mean, I knew, I just didn't know if I should say it out loud. It's got a picture of a donkey on it because that is a big ass fan. Folks, thanks for hanging out with us. Appreciate all the help in the comments. I'm John Galloway, you might know me as Das, but let's get you back into your normal watching. Remember, rewind, change the audio track to ambient only if you wanna listen in, and we'll see you nerds later.